buildings, work is canceled for the day, children are leaving schools, um, people are on the sidewalk trying to figure out how they're going to get home. People have to commute an hour sometimes back home, but they don't have any way to get there. So all the taxis are taken. It's an unusual sight to see the city of Tokyo, one of the most populous in the entire world, completely come to a halt. Um, from what I can see, every single train line has been stopped. We're not hearing any planes in the air. We're not hearing any choppers in the air. It's all very, very unusual. Um, and when I got here, elevator, of course, is out, and people are just walking up and down out of high-rises trying to figure out how they're going to get home now, Rosemary. Indeed. And, uh, of course, as you spoke to us, of course, we do need to mention that it's, it is now upgraded to an 8.9 magnitude uh, quake. We can see there, actually, uh, a person there calling for help, basically, with the white flag, uh, they want to be uh, evacuated from their home. They're in fairly high ground, but you can see they are surrounded in water. So they calling for help there to that uh, helicopter that's giving aerial coverage. Just for a moment, I just wonder because I am being flooded oh, with okay. I'm being flooded with tweets oh. here, um, Kangla. I just just for a moment want to read a couple because this from uh, Param Veer Bangu in Japan says, I'm seeing you on CNN. I would like to say my grandfather has been killed in the tsunami just 20 minutes ago. Uh, that was over, over 30 minutes in actual fact because the tweet was sent out 14 minutes ago. Another one is from Jenny Lupin in Tokyo, starting abroad from Wisconsin. We're still getting aftershocks. Can't contact some friends, though, so very worried. So I'm getting a lot of uh, comments. A lot of people actually...